Hey guys, uh, I wanted to make a video after a very, 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 very long time. I just posted something, and it really didn't even post it. It was just there, and I, for some reason, it was uh, private, so I made it public. Uh, so you're probably getting double up if you've been following for a while. And I haven't made a video in this channel for for quite some time. Um, no need to, uh, realistically. But now I, I, I want to kind of pick this channel back up and. Uh, maybe add some stuff to the Instagrams and stuff like that, but primarily on the YouTubes uh, Just to, to kind of capture if anything just for my purposes and Family and, and all that stuff and hopefully you guys enjoy it and, and share it and, and all that stuff But since the last time I actually posted it's, it's been been a long long time but uh, currently filming or continuing to film a, a documentary um, I've already filmed one and filming another one so i kind of want to just capture that kind of a little bit of it behind the scenes there's not much to to gather from a from a documentary but i did want to kind of at least document what what i'm doing but if you guys are unfamiliar with with who i am uh, my name is edgar um, i own a a handgun training company called guns for everyone there's the thing but i i'm also a, a human who is involved in reducing negative outcomes with firearms without the need of, of government and this documentary is about suicide prevention and, and overall mental health and firearms and how those two intersect and really the, the main goal is to highlight groups and organizations humans who are in the space whether they're for guns or against guns that's irrelevant uh, but if they are trying to minimize negative outcomes with firearms, then then I, I hope to to kind of highlight that. I think you can, you can be anti-gun and you could be pro-gun, uh, such as myself. I, I would consider myself to be a two-way purist. Uh, but I think you could be someone like myself who is um, for guns. And then you could be people that are on the opposite side, but we have the same mission. Mission. And that is, we don't want to see people die with with firearms. Now, obviously, for me, it, it's uh, you can argue, well, you carry a gun for self defense, and that is true. But that's that's purely for self defense. Uh, I'm trying to prevent a negative outcome with the firearm, um, but that doesn't mean I'm not in in favor of looking for a solution that does not involve the government, uh, community based solutions to reducing negative outcomes with firearms. My first documentary was about firearms and gun and, and violence. Firearms and violence, this one's gonna be about suicide and violence or mental health in general and, and firearms. And I think this is a good message to kind of get out there regardless of which side uh, you're in. So I'm kind of just hoping to document this. Uh, I'm probably also gonna post this on on the, the production company side, which is Lagrange Media, Lagrange Point Media. Uh, you guys can find that information on lagrangemedia.com. Um, yeah, I just, I, I find myself being 40 years of age. I'll be 40 in, in uh, December 24th. Um, my industry is kind of changing and it, you find yourself kind of reinventing yourself to, to a certain degree, and, but also restarting. And I think this is just going to be fun to just document this and, and see where, where it goes and see where we started. I wish I would have documented a little bit more because this documentary started back in 2020. Uh, that's when I started filming at the beginning of 2020. And then the pandemic, hit. You, you know what happened there. And everything slowed down. I stopped and focused on other things and, and life kind of changed. And uh, the way people interacted changed for a couple years. And then um, this documentary was kind of set in the back burner. I wish I would have documented the way humans were before and then now. I think I am going to re-interview the people that I, I interviewed pre-pandemic and see what changed. I think that would be interesting. Uh, but I wish I would have done the, the behind the scenes type stuff. Um, and, and that's another reason. I, I just don't want to miss out on the opportunity of documenting this stuff. It's, it's 2024. Uh, right now and uh, November 19th uh, at 6.23 p.m. And 
I kind of a little bit regret not documenting the other stuff, so I, I just want to do this stuff again. It, there's really no purpose other than I just want to have it documented and then hopefully you guys uh, kind of take the ride with me and, and see where, where we go. Um, also, maybe you have a rich uncle and wants to fund this documentary. That'd be super dope because it's self-funded. It's all me. Uh, my wife is helping me out here and there. Um, a friend, Isaac Chase, he I think he helped me with, with one recording and stuff like that, but it, it's just me. I don't... It's always hilarious when I hear about um, indie filmmakers who say, oh, I, I have such a small budget, it's it's a budget of a million dollars or a budget of a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> it's just hilarious. Um, my budget is whatever's in my bank account. Often it's in, in the negative. Um, so it's 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 been an interesting ride. It's been it's been fun. And uh, hopefully you guys go along with me. Hopefully you guys can can check it out. Biggest struggle in in 2024 is finding people to sit down with. Um, it, it seems that whether they're aligned with my pro 2A stands or against my 2A stands, it's, it's very difficult to get people to commit to sit down and talk to document. Everybody thinks you have nefarious intents, and that. Um, uh, it's just weird how how untrusting uh, human humans have become after the the pandemic. It seems like before the pandemic, it was a little bit easier to get people to sit down with you and have a conversation with you and talk to you about what they do and how they do it and why they do it. And now in twenty twenty four, it seems like uh, we've become so divided that it's really difficult to to get people to commit to these conversations uh it's, it's it's strange that's that's been probably my my biggest obstacle financially obviously that that's an obstacle getting to places and 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 having the equipment and, and all that stuff it, it's it's difficult um to make this a primary thing i want to make it a primary thing i, I want to be able to not have to worry about make money and and stuff like that but um, such as life, but the biggest obstacle has really been um, getting people to sit down and commit and and not be afraid. Now I know why a lot of people lie. Uh, I've seen a lot of documentaries where they lie to the person and say we're we're with NPR, with the New York Times, or whatever. And now I I understand why. I don't I don't wish to do that. Uh, I'm not saying I won't do it. I'm just saying I, I just wish to not do that because um, it seems a little disingenuous. Um, I want to have a real conversation with these humans. So, yeah, it, it, it'd be interesting. So we'll see where it goes. Uh, this is uh, the first of hopefully many videos that I do uh, about the behind the scenes stuff. Uh, didn't see much today, but hopefully we get to see it. Uh, a little bit more later on as, as we start filming or maybe I'm calling people and emailing people and, and just a little bit more again uh, behind the scenes. So appreciate you guys. We'll see you guys.